All right, so for our first, and I'm not sure how many small things because this is a beginner. I don't want to go too deep in sound production, but I want to give you something to work with now. Okay, so again, we're going to be using that C that I talked about earlier, and we're going to just literally try to do whole notes. When I say whole notes, we're going to we're talking about being in four four time, which means four beats a measure. So that means we're going to kind of hold it for four counts. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to rest for th four beats. And then we're going to do it again. Whole note. Two, three, four. So it's going to be like this. Rest. Two, three, four. Again. Rest, two, three, four. All right, so this time, I want you to do it with me with your saxophone. I'm going to take it. I'm going to do maybe maybe two or three times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Now don't forget, you got to use these sides of your muscles. No blowfish. Again. One more time. Go. All right. So, now this time, we're going to add, keep it in mind, no blowfish. Um... We're going to do whole notes again, and this time we're going to go down to the next note here, which is a B. This is the first finger on the left hand. So we did the second finger on the left hand. That's how we played C. We're now going to play B. And we're just going to rotate from C to B to C to B the same way. And all we're trying to do is make sure we're using our embouchure correctly, making sure we got good posture making sure um, that we're using the side muscles. That's our goal. We're not trying to make a joyful noise right now. We're just trying to establish a proper way to play. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four, B. Rest, two, three, back to C. One, two, three, back to B. All right. So that's going to be your exercise to start off with. Have, have the discipline to do the simple thing. Do this for maybe three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. It should make your, your lips a little tired. You should feel some fatigue. But it's going to be good to start giving you the building blocks of strengthening this embouchure. And then do all the other stuff you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> but from the start, have the discipline to have good posture. First of all, let's, let's review. Have the discipline to put the saxophone together properly. Okay? Use good posture. Use the right embouchure. And try to not fall in the temptation of, of doing that stuff. Curl that lip, two front teeth on the top. Don't push too hard. Be, 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 be um, what's the word? Be lo a little loose with it. Like, don't be like this. When you, when you, when you, when you squeeze really tight, kind of, that kind of gives you higher notes. So you want to be a little bit loose. Not so loose that you have the blowfish. But a little loose. And while you're working on these, try to keep your sound from wavering, too. So you're making a sound, but like if you feel it going, you see how it's kind of going down and up? Try to keep it up. 
Every time I feel it go down, I try to bring it up. Try to keep it steady. This is good sound production because no matter how many notes you play, how pretty you can make this instrument sound determines what people are going to hear, what, what they're going to perceive that they're hearing. A lot of notes, that's, that's raggedy. Versus clean. Changes the game. All right, so get that at least a good two or three minutes of work. Next video.